Get ready, get ready, get ready. I'm here in Peter Marisburg, just landed, came to see my brother. Okay, Nathan, Adams. Nathan Adams, born again Christian, uh, man of God, also ah. the owner of King's Barbershop. I see you only got celebrities on the wall. I'll be interviewing Nathan for about 10, 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, Nathan, is there anything you want to say to the audience? Welcome to the locker room, the most honest place on earth. Hi guys, my name is Nathan. I'm glad to, to meet you all. Hope you'll enjoy. Sure. Don't miss my haircut, please, up on this. Uh, uh. Name. It's just a freestyle, night to, as I interview you, you will just... Uh, okay, stay. no problem, no just problem. Don't feel any pressure. Just first thing I want to say, Nate, just introduce yourself and tell us who is Nathan Adams and what does he do? Well, my name is Nathan Adams. I'm married. I have a wife, Pamela. I have two kids, a boy named Eden, a girl named Adessa. Eden is 11, Adessa is 7, and I'm a barber, slash comedian, slash artist. I, I, do, I do it all. <laughs> uh, I do Nathan, whatever I do. Nathan is being very modest. Uh, he also opened up a couple of months ago for... Uh, a gentleman by the name of Carvin Goldstone. Carvin Goldstone at the... Was it at, where was, where, what is the venue? Um, no, Carvin had a show. It was the... It was for up-and-coming comedians. He had a show in Durban. I was one of the comedians there. He also had a show in... Uh, at the Golden Oaks Casino, which I was one of the comedians at the Golden Oaks Casino. I can take the corner. Sorry, sorry, can sorry about that. He's, it's a businessman, he's a businessman. So, what are we going to do? I'm open. We're going to um, ask Nathan no, about our neighborhood. Right. Things Bye. that are going on in the neighborhood and uh, how he feels to be a, a resident of East Coast. So, Nate, uh, if somebody didn't know about. Uh, Quick question Are you having a fade or a cut into? Uh, a fade, yes. A fade. yes. So, um, even the, the, the haircuts have changed. I don't know what's a fade and I don't know what's a cut and trim. But I, was, I guess I'm going to find out. Um, Nathan, if there was something that you would be able to tell us about uh, that sticks out for you about Eastwood, this place Eastwood, what would it be? What, what would you think people would most know about, most want to know about Eastwood? What sort of a place is it? Ah, uh, Godfrey. Uh, I don't know now. I'm having second thoughts. I, I would have preferred you to have run these questions by me. But if I would just speak off the cuff, I would say this. Um, that Eastwood is a normal, small community with a rich history. But unfortunately, it's also a community that is riddled with, with gangsterism, um, also drug abuse. But that being said, it's a community that has produced many very skillful and very talented people. Na name some of them first, please, Nathan. Let them know who we are. Please, Nathan. Let I, them know who I, we are. I know, for example, that uh, uh, Mr. Tenoff here wouldn't want me to say his name, being the humble guy he is. But Godfrey Tenoff is one of them. I'll, I'll have to mention people like uh, Shane Morrison. Wonderful footballer. Wonderful footballer. There's the Donleys oh. that, were, that were so good. And it's not only football, there was Cedric Conway, a boxer. Oh. And it's just a long list. There's just a long list. Lucas Bock. Lucas Bock, a musician. It's a long list of talented people that a, 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 run, a, a community that's not elite mm. has produced. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, Nate, me and you went to the same primary school growing up. Yes. Um, we had the same. Uh, Mr. Joshua was our principal. Yes. Mr. Conses, our sports. We played sports together. We did a lot of stuff together. Do you think that those sports contributed to the types of men that we are today? Most definitely, most, most definitely. And, um, it was a combination of the sports that contributed and uh, the, the caliber of the men who were the coaches because they instilled different disciplines in us as kids. So I've got to say, the, without sport, I think our bad points as a community would have been worse. Uh. 
The sport contributed to keeping many kids in line. Wonderful, Nathan. Can you mention some of those those personalities? I know you, we're talking about our current councillor now, Mr. Mike Amadou, who was the was the uh, who was the then coach of Rebels. Uh, yes, we're yes, talking yes. about uh, uh, Freddie Simons also, who was yes, in Freddie. Rebels. Freddie yeah. si Anto Freddie Simons, mm -hmm. Mr. Jesse Joshua, but the boxing because yes, he yes. was a, a very pivotal and very instrumental in training the boxing. He had a, I think their surname was the Samson brothers. They were also into boxing, mm -hmm. the Samsons. And they continue to, to, to have uh, uh, um, little uh, uh, clubs now as well throughout uh, Peter Marisburg. I hear as well, Mr. Uh, that, yes. they're, that they're reviving boxing, the, the Samson brothers. Yes. Uh, yeah. I, I found out about boxing that, as, as brutal as it looks, it teaches a lot of discipline. Eh? Yeah. So, yes, it's Mr. Joshua, it's Uncle Mike Emmett, Uncle Freddie Simons. It's the Samson brothers, and it's, it's guys like Leonard who are still, they call him coach, who are still holding the fort. 100%. After all these years, up until now. 100%. And we also had women in, 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 in our football. We had uh, uh, Auntie Veronica, who was a uh, part of Barcelona. Yes. We had uh, Auntie, Auntie Shirley. Shirley. Auntie Shirley. Yes. And, you know, sometimes the people who are working in the background, the... Uh, Auntie, Auntie, uh, the late uh, Mrs. Morrison. Auntie uh, Carla. Auntie Carla, yes. Working in the background for Leicester City. Just people who also gave up so much of their time and their effort. Made uh, personal sacrifices. Yes, yes, yes. Just to make I, I remember when we were kids, we used to be in the people's homes on Saturday mornings before we were getting ready to jump into the vehicles to go to the different sport fields. So they made personal sacrifices for kids who are not their biological kids and some of some of the kids they, their parents weren't really involved in their lives but we had these parents in the community who literally took other people's kids under their wings and in a way became their parents mm. all through sport now uh, nate i know that through your, your 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 comedy that you do you're a clean comedian yes you're also a comedian that has a message yes. um just uh for us when young men come in here and they know you out there, you, you, you know, you're running your comedy, what yeah. is the message that you're trying to give to young men and young women who come into you and out of your life or into and out of your barbershop? I, I personally would say this. Look, when you grow up in a community like ours, and oftentimes, for some weird reason, kids in communities like this, and as many communities similar to us, they somehow make heroes out of guys who are doing wrong things. So sometimes the father that's carrying a, a work bag with a floss going to work is not so admired as the drug dealer who might be driving a drop top vehicle wearing fashionable clothes and a, and a gold chain. So, so a message I would like to send to people is, is, is have different heroes. Have different heroes. There's nothing wrong with making the the decent, upstanding citizen, your hero. Follow that guy. So, and it's also messages of uh, uh, challenge yourself, aim higher. When I came into comedy, I never thought I could I could go into comedy. And and just with conversations at the barber shop, I ended up venturing into comedy. I ended up venturing into it, Wonderful. taking the risk, Wonderful. thinking out the box. Wonderful. And I see that we're joined by Pastor Alistair here. Pastor Alistair is a part of our oh. church. Oh, 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 Come on, Pastor Alistair, come on, introduce come yourself. Oh. Pastor oh, Alistair. How are you, my man? Good man, good man. Nice Pastor to see Alistair. you, boss. Good man. Nice to see you, Nice man. to see you as well. What are you doing with such an odd time here? Ah, uh, came to get a haircut. <laughs> came to interview Nathan as well. No, but we can come to you, eh? Huh? We can come to you. Anytime, anytime. Yeah. No, right to Bloom to cut your head. Don't worry about boy. Give the guess. Greet the audience. So right now we are just saying hello to Pastor Alistair who's joining us. Pastor Alistair is a part of our church, Hi. one of our leading pastors. Pastor Alistair, you are on the locker room. The most honest place on earth is what we call my show, the locker room. We deal with sports. We deal with uh, different people in different business avenues who are trying to make a positive influence on the world. If there's anything you could say, Pastor Alistair, to young men and women out there in this day and age in the pandemic, 
What would it be? Um, good day, first of all, to the viewers. Uh, I just want to say as a, as a father also, is that um, young people, there is nothing for us in this world without education. Yeah. We have to study, the Bible says, to show ourselves approved. Wow. Do it, and do it honestly. And in this world, we have to learn all we can, and can all we learn. I want to say, the only way we can do that is through Jesus. Amen. You need to, uh, as a young person, the Bible says, uh, when we are young, we need to accept Him. That's the right time for us to know Him. And once we know him, the sky is the limit. I want to say to, even to Godfrey, Coach Godfrey, um, you can do this. Everything you put your hand to, uh, I believe with God, everything we touch turns to gold. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Coach, thanks for all the good things you're doing. We, we so appreciate you for all the, the things you try and do, even for our own. You know, we sometimes forget to say thank you, you know, for all the things you try and do and, and what you try and do in this life. But everything you, you do, you will be rewarded for. God bless you. God bless you to you. I'm just going to jump in because as Godfrey told us, this is unscripted. Godfrey Tenoff is a man, allow me to say this, there's Pastor Alistair who can be a witness. You probably go home and edit this. I, I want to see if you play it. We'll watch tonight. <laughs> but you guys... Who he has, who y'all, who has Godfrey with y'all every day? Y'all have a gem of a guy. Yeah, back home, he's highly respected. He's highly admired simply because of the integrity yeah. with which he walks with, the the godly morals, the principles by which he lives. So appreciate him, appreciate him. He's rare. Thank you. Thank you. It's not me. It's definitely God. It's definitely God who's given me the opportunity, and I and I really, really appreciate that. Uh, Nathan, just a a, a parting word uh, from you. Uh, actually, I just want to do a little bit of advertising for you, if I can, if you would allow me to. When's your next show? Unfortunately, due to COVID, I'm I'm planning a two-man show with somebody. The name will be revealed soon, but we're all waiting to just watch the statistics with the COVID. The only thing is COVID is open, holding us back, but probably within the next three months, probably in the next three months. Wonderful. Yeah. So is there anywhere, if anyone wants to see some of your past uh, work, is there anywhere they can go? Is there any websites, anything like that that you have? Um, you see now I'm exposing myself. Please forgive me. I'm not very technologically savvy. I intend to get there very soon. So places to find me will be revealed soon. 100%. Thank you. Can we maybe get a snippet of your, 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 uh, one of your, your acts and maybe we can post it on one of our links and then that way we can uh, uh, okay. have people start to follow you. Okay, we'll, okay. we'll get on to that. Wonderful. So ladies and gentlemen, as I conclude my haircut here, um, I know this is a big head. It's probably going to... <laughs> it's probably going to be going for the next 30 minutes. Um, this is... Uh, King's Barbershop in yeah. Eastwood, Peter Marisburg. I'm signing off with my friend, my colleague, uh, my brother in Christ, Nathan Adams. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.